What's so bad about philanthropy, bro? Oh, man, he wants to know. Don't get me started, bro. Don't get me started on philanthropy. But man. I thought philanthropy was charity, bro. Oh, Jesus. Technically, I guess. Oh, oh technically? Shit. For the people, by the people. What? Are we moving into the grain now or what? <sighs> Man, I worked for a nonprofit for a long time. I I, I worked for multiple nonprofits. Oh, you were in the deep then. Oh. You were in the you were in the dirt, oh, in the man. murky waters. I was in the mercs. I was in the mercs. <laughs> <laughs> Merkin pools for gotta, philanthropy yeah. in the name of philanthropy. Got it out the mud, you know what I'm saying? Slit throats like, in the name yeah, of charity. Yeah, for real, man. That <laughs> that, that, that fun pool is like a, l- a bunch of fucking tank of sharks. Yo, you know? that's what I'm talking about. Fucking hungry sharks, that's fucking what I'm talking about. feeding off the bottom shit. Feed them off, feeding off of the bottom feeders. Oh man, oh, it is ridiculous. Does it get uh, any worse than that, or does it just get? And the better? way they treat their people too, man, it's so fucking terrible. What, like no, uh, no love? No love, cause no money. Here, boil that blood down here. Just boil it down here. Yeah, I got you. Um, yeah, man. So like, it's all for the love of the money. Is that it? I mean, shit, let me walk you through the system, man. Let me, let Help me, me out, yeah, let help me, me out. Let me tell you how it works, bro. So, like, if you're a non-profit, mm-hmm. there's a couple ways that you're getting money. Obviously, you got to get money somehow. Like, you're doing yeah. shit, right? Yeah. You're, you're hosting events. You're, you get donations, right? You're, you're making people feel happy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there there are people who get take donations, and I mean, I think that's where a lot of you see like crowdfunding and stuff like that. And sure, I, I, I'm a supporter of crowdfunding. Okay. I, I actually like that idea. That's that's a pretty nice idea. I, I, I'll give them that. Um, however, philanthropy is a system where there's money being funneled into foundations that's then distributed to community-based organizations. Mm. All right, so let me, let me let me define a couple of things. So so when you say funneled, hold on. When you say funneled, is it like uh, already earmarked? Like is it is it going to some places with a with a special message, with a special intention, or what? created by the foundation, not created by the people who, uh, who need uh, it, or uh, it, not created by the people who need it, not created by the mm. people who donated it, not okay. created by the government. It's created by the people in charge of the foundations. That just sounds like some financial management shit. Like, at, at what point does the charity come in? The charity comes in at the bottom. They're bottom feeders. God, you know what I'm damn. saying? Like, <laughs> like they, they get the scraps. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, this is so they're, aptly they're, worded, they're, bro. To the point, bro. You fucking... They're the little fucking... <laughs> charity comes they're, last at they're, this motherfucker. They're, they're, they're the fucking <laughs> rut in the litter. You know what I'm saying? The little one fighting for a nip, but he's actually sucking on a pimple. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> God yeah, damn, bro, like, that yeah. analogy hit. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, yeah, I just recently saw a dog, and they said he had, like, 11 nipples, and I was like, nah, dog, that's a pimple. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but, uh, yeah, so anyways. So, I mean, like, the way it works, man, yes. is... is you you can get funding as as a community based organ. We'll we'll use the te- well. Let me define terms. Community board based organizations. Mm-hmm. That's going to be nonprofits that actually work in the community okay. and provide services directly. Okay. Okay. So like so, they're like at the street level working in the street. And they don't even have to be at the street level, right? Mm-hmm. They're just providing some sort of service. Okay. Right. Okay. Now you have foundations who do not. Find or do, do not provide any service. They don't provide any service. You don't provide service as a foundation. Your job is to raise money to give out to organizations mm. that provide service. Right. Now, those are both nonprofit organizations, but with two completely different objectives, you're saying. So, like, the difference between a community based organization is that they're actually providing the service. Meanwhile, the foundation is what just aggregating the funds to distribute to the services. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, and and so there's is there so a community based organization. Yeah. Let's talk about them first. We'll get into foundations later. Mm-hmm. But community based organizations they get their money in three ways. Um, individual donations. Um, through fundraising events right right and like uh auctions and shit like yeah. that 
like exactly cake, cake walks and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, all, all that bake all sales. That, all that fun <laughs> soccer mom <laughs> shit. You bake know what sales. I mean? Motherfucking bake <laughs> sales. You know what I'm saying? Hustle on the like street. That. Yeah, so, um, and then the third option is applying for grants. Mm, from the, the government, getting those government grants. Could be the government. Could, could be, be a foundation. Or could be other foundations. Foundations, yeah. feeding so, foundations. So there's two different types of, of grants that you can get as a community-based organization. Generally, mm-hmm. it's a government grant or a private grant. They're both free. Grants are free money for a community-based organization. Hold on. And there's no such thing as free, bro. Oh, yeah, I know. What do you mean? So if you're a nonprofit with a 501c3, you can collect grant money from foundations and you qualify for a lot of government grants that are are, that are free money just just for the uh for for the for the sake of having that 501c3 designation now for those of the, for those of you folks who aren't familiar with the uh, with the designation 501c3 that comes down from the IRS you apply or you petition your organization to be designated a 501c3 for the sake of taxation um, and I mean then you're conferred or given certain benefits when it comes to declaring taxes or having to pay taxes you're essentially tax exempt as a nonprofit organization so yeah and a lot of these a lot of these grants they um, provide as a requirement that you have a 501c3 status so mm-hmm. you, you qualify for a lot of money so um, so pretty much like as as soon as you hit five hundred one c three status, you you're saying that like you're eligible for just applying for grants for for a, a fuck ton of grants out there on the table. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, who provides all these grants? One is the government. We talked about that. Yeah. Another one is foundations. Okay. Foundations have a, a fuck ton of money, mm-hmm. and they give some of that out. Yeah. Every uh, now to, and then, every every year. Every now and then, they're, every, they're feeling every, charitable themselves. Every every year. Okay. Well, they have to. They have to. To they're, keep the money moving. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a nonprofit, so they they can't start you know siphoning money and paying themselves. Like yeah. the board of directors essentially don't get paid. They're they're non paid. Most of them. Uh, Most of them be, are just I mean, like indemnified, right? For yeah. for like certain costs. Yeah. So if, if I have this right, the of the a five hundred one c three organization can't just sit on a pool of money forever. They've got to keep that shit circulating. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Honestly, I'd have to do some legal research. I guess. I mean, um, unless they're sitting on real estate. But yeah. as far as I know, like, um, yeah, like I, cash on hand, you can't have cash on hand. I'm I'm not completely sure about that one. But okay. um, maybe we'll try to research that if anybody's truly interested in in. Uh, Fuck. Confirm that shit. Um, <laughs> confirm it, bro. <laughs> shit. Yo, are you giving me homework, bro? Yeah, bro, earn your shit, bro. <laughs> Get your stripes, bro. Earn your fucking stripes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, okay. So, now, how do foundations get money? That's the crazy part. How do foundations get all these money? Well, there's two ways. First off, creating a foundation and funneling money into a foundation provides tax benefits to corporations. Okay. So for sig- for a significant amount of um a significant amount of tax benefits that make it worth it, a corporation will create a foundation. That's why you see all these foundations like mm-hmm. the Kellogg Foundation, mm-hmm. McDonald's Foundation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like they they make a fuck ton of money up front just to throw it into a and then they into like a Bill Gates Foundation on the back end. Bill Gates Foundation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And 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 and, and these guys look so charitable. They're just so fucking awesome. Look at how much money they're giving to all these people. On paper, they can say that that they're donating to to charity, but it's their own fucking foundation. They're 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 fucking helping out the world, bro. All this (laughs) fucking look at all this money. Now we get to go to these. And it's, it sounds good, bro. It sounds good. It sounds great because I mean, the money's gonna funnel down, right? Exactly. The, the money, the money's gonna come down from the corporations it's, it's that key to the foundation. That, it's that hot button word, charity. It always looks good. Um, it 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 just 
it, it all sounds great, man. It, all these all these community based organizations getting all this money. Now let's let's, let's take a look at at how it's actually funneled, though. Now let's say that I get a I don't know. Let's say a, um, I'm a I'm a rich guy. Okay. Right. I need to donate a million dollars so that I don't get raped on these taxes. Oh, okay, okay. Right? See, I was going to ask, like, why do you need to donate? But it ain't because, I mean, it ain't because you're charitable, charitable. It's because you need to donate to not get hit with these fucking taxes. Yeah, you're trying not to get raped on these tax rates, right? <laughs> Uncle Sam be coming in and just thrusting. Fucking no Vaseline. You know what I mean? fucking, fucking these fuckers <laughs> already, already know how to put the Vaseline on, man. They, they throw a mill in the They in got the a formula. They yeah. got a formula. They'll yeah, throw so, you in there. So, I mean, like, yo, they, they, they get to, you know... They get all these tax benefits that mm. are going to keep them from getting raped. And, yeah. and, and on the plus side, they get to look good, right? Right, right. Um, not only that, that money is going to go towards the foundation. Okay. It's going to be a separate entity from the corporation, completely separate. Okay. With its, It cannot be any way owned or affiliated, like owned by the corporation. Okay, it can't be owned by the corporation. Yeah. What I'm trying to figure out is whether or not, let's say, Alex has Alex Corp, right? But then Alex creates a foundation where they want to donate to uh, to the foundation. Can Alex be the CEO of Alex Corp no. and still be no up, up on the board of the foundation? No, you can't. You can't be on the board of a corporation and then have them create a foundation and then be on the board of the foundation you can't do that yeah that that's that's unethical alex why would you even suggest that so then <laughs> because i but made, your mom could i made exactly that was my next question so like how close, your brother could that's how close can this trustee be alex how close can this trustee be like can they be just an arm's length away could it be my fucking wife in court, does that really matter, Alex? As long as the names don't match, right? You okay. can't be Alex in both fucking places. Yeah. I'm not God. Yeah, so as we can <laughs> see, those lines are a little fishy, right? Okay, all right. They're so, a little fuzzy. So yeah, but... we're not affiliated exactly. as a corporation. But we are really... a separate entity yeah. that my mom runs. But who's really pulling the strings? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yo. Shit. Got you, bro. Okay. Alright, let me take a break. Right. I don't know what you're talking about, Alex. I mean, like, we're just going to continue on. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, now, they've got this foundation. You got this foundation, Alex. Your mom mm -hmm. runs it. You don't run it. Okay. That's not unethical. Your mom runs it. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's completely okay. How do I how do I keep control of it though? Like how do I keep my mom's from fucking donating the fucking how much does she... donating the bank away? You can't. What? It's called loyalty, bro. If, if my mom it. makes the wrong move, she's getting clipped. I, 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 that's what it is, bro. <laughs> that's the game. I mean, at the end, that's of the, the fucking game. At the end of the day, that is that's. that's that's where the cowboy, uh, corporate cowboy come in, man. You, you gotta fucking you, shine through, yeah, bro. You, you you gotta know your people, man. Exactly. You, you gotta put your people in place. Exactly. That's your you mama. Gotta, you gotta have all your all your ducks. If in you a row. can't trust your mama, don't put her there. You gotta have exactly. You gotta know who your soldiers are on the line, and whether or not they can uh, they can push the mission forward for you. Whether or not they're on board with the mission, on board with the uh, yeah, with carrying out the objectives. So. You, you you got your soldiers in place. I mean, not your soldiers, just random people you don't know. Let's call them soldiers. And, Fuck and, it. I mean, and, if, they, if they're yeah, going to be trustees yeah, to the foundation or to the, to yeah, the nonprofit, to, you get your soldiers. Yeah. Now, you got all this pool. You got this large pool of a million dollars, right? What do you do with it, Alex? What are you doing with it? What is your mom going to do with it? I mean, Seeing as how it's already been donated to a nonprofit, I mean, how much more charitable do you want me to be? 
Like, what the fuck? I've already donated it to a nonprofit. No, I've, I've already no, been charitable. No, you haven't. <laughs> you have. What I'm just your, trying to escape what, taxes. What does your mom do? Your mom's running it. What does your mom do, Alex? She turns around and, and pitches it to another charity. All of it? I mean, assuming that the foundation itself isn't getting taxed, maybe a piece of it and the rest of it can sit in the foundation. Isn't that what, like, wealth accumulation looks like? Ooh. How do you keep making money? Investing. Okay. Okay. You're Investing. thinking like a real foundation head right now, Alex. <laughs> you should give your mom some advice. <laughs> give your mom. Uh, tell your mom so, to stop throwing so, the money away. So, stop throwing the bag away. So, so these fuckers do is... They have a million dollars instead of tax money donated to these foundations. And then 90% of that money that was supposed to be tax money is reinvested into the stock market so that they can continue making money for the foundation, justifiably so, to keep the foundation running. So that next year, they're only going to, they're only going to, they're only going to uh, donate 100000 Right. Okay. Only one hundred thousand. Okay. Nine hundred thousand. They're gonna reinvest in the stock market, right? And then next year, that nine hundred thousand might make you a hundred thousand more. So you'll donate a hundred thousand, and you'll have nine hundred thousand again. And they just do that hmm. over and over, hmm. and that's what a foundation does. And then they give out the money. So how do you give out? And 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 here's the first thing. Can they ever grow from the nine hundred thousand though? I mean, like, is there some sort of threshold that a foundation can sit on without you know casting too much suspicion? Or, I mean, is it just the nine hundred thousand? But they're not about? holding on to it. They're investing it. But okay, hold, 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 is it is it just because it looks like they're investing it? No, they really are. But then how do they keep nine hundred thousand at year end? Like how? At year's end, how do they still have nine hundred thousand if they invested it? Because their inve- their their investments are 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 making money. Okay. Like, like your money is going out there and making money for you, right? You're you're making interest off that money. Yeah, but they're still sitting on nine hundred thousand, and it's legal because they've invested it. Yeah, they're not holding on to it. It's not cash assets. Mm-hmm. It's it's stock assets. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay. You can't just liquidate stock assets that easily. I mean. Ah, I see. So I'm yeah. because I'm trying to like in my mind, in my nebulous criminal mind, I'm trying to figure out how these motherfuckers can walk away with billions at the end of the day, and and I mean that calls that you know calls into question offshore accounts. And but yeah, I, I don't. I don't here's 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 why I don't like financial. Let me tell you why. I don't like Let me know, bro. Because all that tax money was supposed to go into the community's pocket. Okay. Community money. Yeah. But instead they said, you know what? You're donating to a good cause. So we're going to let you put it into that good cause. Right? Mm. And first of all, you don't even put all of it into the community. You only put that much, like maybe 10% in. Yeah. And then the other 90%, it may not go directly into your pocket. Yeah. But... If you run a corporation, better know you got stocks everywhere. Yeah. You're putting more money into the system that's making you money. And how many people do you think on the ground level are benefiting from stock market? You think everyday folks that are renting are benefiting? I'm not benefiting from the stock market. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Not yet. Not until not, we learn, not how, yet. To, not until we learn how to squeeze that bitch. To, exactly. Yeah. But they're squeezing everyone. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? How do we return the favor? And so, and 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 so, and it's crazy because it's like, it's masked under this facade of goodwill yeah. called philanthropy. And then not only that, the money that they do give out. Do you know how that's divvied out? How? By their choice. So now you they're. Mean, you mean their choice is like who gets it or like? Yes. Their choice as in, like, their favorites. Like, do you like fucking, like, all right, think about this. The, because I was watching a documentary. Yeah. Um, one of the organization, big organizations that, that works on uh, heart disease, 
heart disease awareness. Okay. Right. Um, a lot of things, what are a lot of things they talk about when they talk about heart disease? One of the things they don't talk about is how much dairy is fucked up for your heart. Okay, okay. Now, who do you think donates a lot of money to that nonprofit? The dairy industry? The dairy industry. Damn. So now you got this nonprofit yeah. that's being funneled. Oh. Money that was supposed to be tax dollar money. Yeah. That's only a small bit of money that's going back into the stock market to feed everyone who benefits from the stock market. Okay. But now they're controlling where those social dollars go. And sometimes to their own benefit. Oh yeah. I mean if they can fund if they can fund whole documentaries in the name of their cause, I mean they could bend the will of the people any any way they see fit. Because you may not be running an organization, but you're con- you're saying what organizations can collect those dollars and what organizations don't. And then you got all these organizations at the bottom who are like, Hey, we created this social purpose. Yeah. And then these organization heads have to choose to really go with their social purpose or to chase the money. And what do you think they do? They end up chasing the money. Because they got bills to pay. They got people to feed. And they're fighting for the scraps. And these motherfuckers get minimum wage, yeah. underworked, over- overworked, underpaid. Yeah. And it's just people get fucked at the bottom with community-based organizations. And they get controlled at the bottom. So and, you're saying directly. So you're saying these foundations oh, are, are the fucked. Are these foundations gatekeepers? Or or yeah. Or are the are the large are the large corporations? Would you call somebody who controls all the funds and t- tells you where they're going to be spent and where they're not going to be spent? Spend and they're not even they're not even elected officials or government affiliated. They're just private individuals who decided to create a nonprofit. Yeah. Well, now you're. Are, are you operating, I mean, are we operating under the assumption that, like you said, the foundation and the corporation are completely separate entities? Because, let's return back to Alex Corp and Alex Foundation. If, if my mom's was sitting, was, was sitting on Alex Foundation and Alex Corp is pretty much funding Alex Foundation, can't I, as the corporation, I mean, it's going to be through, like, uh, backroom meetings and off the book corporate minutes but can't i dictate where those dollars go what do you think i'm gonna go with yeah okay i'm gonna go with yes oh. absolutely if you can think of it you don't <laughs> think they did <laughs> shit okay okay well i mean that's an end that's this, this, that, that, that's always I, an end for us i because... truly believe that nonprofits and philanthropy help kill the social rights movement Help for the social rights movement. Yeah. Damn, bro. And I'm over here wanting to start a nonprofit. But at the end of the day, you have to use it. It's a tool, bro. I mean, now, now it's a tool. Now and that it, we've seen the motherfuckers get ganked with nonprofits, you don't think nonprofits look appealing? Like nonprofits look attractive because we know what they can do. It's like and, it's like the first time you see you see somebody pull like a, say you're working with like a all black Glock, right? And then, like, you see somebody else pull out a motherfucking stainless Beretta. And you're like, you're like, God damn, like, they make, they make those? Like, I gotta get one, you too. Don't think, you don't think I want one of those, bro? Motherfucking well, 20, yeah. 20 in the clip versus yeah. 10? It's yeah. a fucking standard yeah. 15. It fucking disgusts me, but I want to join. <laughs> that shit's disgusting. Where do I get one, bro? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you have to, man. You, you, it's, it's like an arms race. You got to keep competing. If you, if you want, like, we, we, there's, there's an opposing force for every force. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yeah. who's gonna, who's gonna win? You know Absolutely. What I'm and, and, um, not necessarily that you, you can't. And I think those two opposing forces are like, people who don't give a shit about anybody but themselves, and people who genuinely do give a fuck. And if you do give a fuck about people, right? 
Not yeah. saying that I don't care about myself. I care about people, but I care about myself. Too. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure, I care about myself. I mean, if we, if we aren't well, we can't take care of others. Exactly. If we aren't taking care of ourselves, but that doesn't mean that I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to see anybody come up. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, for sure. what 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 I'm saying is is that like. I think you just boiled it down to good and evil, bro. Yeah. Because I mean, there I mean, are some good companies out there, let's face it. There yeah. are some good foundations out there, let's face it. The, there the, are some good entities out there that, I, that are, that I, are I would say, creating some change. I would say actions, not good or bad. Mm. I would Or process, not good or bad. It's mm. just process. Mind. Thoughts. Good and bad. It's the intention. You know what I'm saying? It's the intention, yeah. And so, at this point... You know, you have these tools, just like you have guns, that can do terrible things. Yeah. With terrible people. Right. And and sometimes they can produce beautiful results. Yeah. So you know, we, I, I need I need help from all my all my all my cowboys out there, man. Because 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 we know how to hold them and we know when to fold them. You sometimes know what I'm you gotta. Sometimes some, you gotta. Some motherfucking put in some dirt. On you, you know sometimes you gotta put in some dirt to some grow dirt, some flowers. Some dirt. <laughs> That's what's Ooh, up. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's what's up. That's more beautiful than Tupac's concrete from roses. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, items in the works. There's a lot of uh, things on on all parts of the stove, on, on all burners, and um, some of it on, on the on, on the front burner, some of it on the back burners. But ultimately, uh, this uh, this organization really it's just one arm to to the nonprofit to I mean should we even call it a nonprofit? This is called I the mean, organization. I yeah, I think we call it's just the organization. organization because I mean like at the end of the day whether or not we have status, we're doing work. And, and, and organizations can be structured in so many different ways. Exactly. And um, to limit yourself I mean I just I just found out about this thing called social purpose corporations. Okay. Um, okay. And they're still basically corporations. I, I think guess, I've heard but, of them. But um yeah, we, I mean, we could talk about them later, but I, it's, it's, they're just like corporations, you yeah. know what I mean? Except they got a so, social purpose. If anything, uh, yeah, we could do a little bit of research and come yeah. back to that on a different yeah. episode. You, you got to get a little bit more background information on, on, on business organization uh, before you can uh, kind of understand why, why that was created. But it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not too far of a stretch from corporations themselves. They're, they're more like corporations than... than like nonprofits. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think uh, the the way um, our associates want to organize the organization right now is gonna be associates incorporating associates at the top, and that's that's always been like the end all be all. Why? Because it's it's not just the company name, but it's a namesake. Yeah. It's how we get work done. Yeah. It's literally associates incorporating associates. Yep. Anybody could be somebody. Just like just like folks say, like, oh, I got somebody that that knows someone who can do something. Yeah. Bro, everybody has somebody. Yeah. Anyone could be a corporate cowboy. Yeah. At the drop of a dime, and not even snitching. At the drop of a hat. Not even not even making a fashion statement, but anybody could anybody could be behind the mask. Yeah. Anybody could put that fucking ski mask on and and get to work. That's a corporate cowboy at the end of the day. Corporate cowboys is just, I want to say, like, the executive offshoot of it. Because, um, I mean, somebody's got to do the dirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it. That's how we started. Because until, I mean, we, until we joined the circle. I mean, you know, you, you got to get motherfuckers to, to, to do the shit that... That nobody else wants to. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it, there's always feels like that, man. There's always things you don't want... I, I mean, like, there's folks who are scared to get past the ball because they don't want to make the run. They don't want to take the shot. And and it's hard because then then you got motherfuckers who, who who's like, do more than than they than they need to. You know what I mean? And so yeah. it's it's I think corporate cowboy real shit is gonna be that nice that good balance of of handling the shit nobody wants to handle, but handling it in a way that, that's that's noble and that's that's uh like a fucking consummate professional. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that, that, that's fucking you know, for the right reasons. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because sometimes motherfuckers gotta go out, you know what I'm saying? That's because it. 'cause you got Nick you got motherfuckers that that, that overstep you know what I mean? And they yeah. try to do things the wrong way. And so yes. how do you fix that? Do you always go the right way? Because, you know, 
Like how how far can you push your integrity? Yeah, kind of thing. before the shit just don't work. Exactly, exactly. And, and and there's plenty there's plenty of people sitting in corporate today who have access, who have the fuck like I would kill for the fucking access some of these motherfuckers have. I would, like there's there's folks in in middle management who have access to the type of resources a corporate cowboy would garrot your neck for, bro. Like they take you off of the shoulders just to be sitting in your chair and and and, and you might be suffering you might be like oh I, I barely make a hundred i barely clear 200 a year and i got three kids or whatever <laughs> well I, I i'll take out your whole family you ain't got to worry about them I'll, t- <laughs> I'll take you out bro we could just create a vacuum where you're at and 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 let the next let the next hungry motherfucker come in and make some change rock the fucking boat but no i mean folks are scared to rock the boat why because they dug themselves in this fucking hole like they made their fucking bed they they chose to settle and again i got nothing against settling and creating a family but you got to recognize that at a certain point if you don't move you will be moved out of the fucking way and and again i mean there is something noble something honorable about creating your family raising your family you know, to be a family of, of integrity. Um, but when that becomes an excuse to inhibit social innovation, like to keep social innovation from happening, I've said it before and I'll say it again, bro. If I ever, if I ever reach that age where I'm like prospecting retirement or, or I'm going I'm to pull one, one last lick, but I'm going to make it like a devilish lick to, you know, to retire, to retire comfortably, no, bro. I, if it ever gets to that point where I'm, where I'm sabotaging, you know, some young gun coming up with with a socially innovative idea. If it comes down to me sabotaging them, I would much rather be taken out because at that point, like you, you won't, you don't even realize. But senility is is it senility? Just being senile has already set in. You don't fucking realize it, but you're already old. You're already washed up. You you should fucking retire early, and I can help you with that if <laughs> it ever gets to it. I can help you with that Amen. because when it gets to it, I will need help with it. Amen. It's like knowing you ought to be euthanized, and and then not knowing the fucking words with which to ask for it for. Preach, father. Preach, father. It is what it is, man. And and <clears throat> now in terms of philanthropy, in terms of of charity, we we covered the topic, and there. They're the perfect tool. I'm going to call them the perfect tool. Why? Because on paper, shit, everything is perfect on paper. Capitalism looks good on paper. Motherfucking communism looks good on paper. But at the end of the day, you put that shit into practice and look what we have now. Look what we have now. A lot of folks yep. say it's uh, it's socialism for the upper class and, 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 and competitive capitalism, cutthroat capitalism for the rest. Oof. Well, baby, I was raised on cutthroat capitalism. I'm a I'm corporate saying. fucking cowboy. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. All right? That's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Any last thing you want to drop on him? No. Nah, last man, little just, gem? Just all my cowboys out there, man. Be safe and uh, be strong. Hit the page up. It's on Instagram, Corporate Cowboys. You can find us. Uh, you want to follow and subscribe to the podcast page. That is on Patreon. Corporate Cowboys podcast, and uh, I mean, you can find the links there for for any donations if you'd like to. Um, take care of yourselves. Oh, by the way, just a, a proof of life. Today is Thursday, September thirtieth, two thousand twenty-one. Peace out, y'all.